talk to you about something. About what? About Anthony. Do, do not talk too much, Daylin. Daylin, just let her lead the conversation, okay? Let her lead the conversation. Anthony? I know you know, Daylin. Don't even uh, try to act like you don't. Uh, Amber, listen, man. I like. Okay, look. I, I, I told know you. you know why Anthony is not giving me none. Boy, she almost had him. Her stupid ass. Don't you know how to put... <clears throat> Amber, you know what, girl? I thought you... Girl, you just took every wits that I thought you had. You just took that away from yourself. You just took that away from yourself because I just knew you was playing on um, Dalen to make him talk. Damn. That's what we talking about. Yes. Have you tried spicing things up a little bit? I mean, last night, I put on my robe, my little sexy robe, and was breaking down. Oh, and okay, like, all right. Uh, Listen, that, that, that might be the reason right there. You gotta be it's fantasy. It's fantasy. fantasy. It's fantasy. I don't think I know what his fantasy is. See, that's the problem right there, y'all. It's kind of sad, but she really don't know. And that's what happens when you don't know a person. Anthony only married her because of the coochie and the big old booty, right? Um, she basically said, I do, because she know he was a better choice than Wayne. They technically don't know each other. And that's the sad part. Amber and Anthony never really did that. She, she put that thing on him, had that big old booty, and he's impulsive. He jumped for her. She jumped for him because he was the better fit, future-wise. I'm gonna be honest with you, Amber, it's a little awkward. But I don't, I don't know what that man wants. I mean, I so, man, I'm telling you, every man wants his fantasy fulfilled. Like, things can go, become, like, real regular mm -hmm. and real routine. Regular. So you gotta know your man. How does he think? How does he feel? What can spice things up? What can make things exciting? Okay. It ain't, it ain't okay. easy. Well, he was so happy he made it through that. But if y'all notice, they all have on green. So let's look at the comments. Uh, Lunel or Lumel33 says, Dalen is ready to tell everything. He's going to crack under pressure. <laughs> he was ready because he really thought that she knew what was up. He thought. But again, like uh, Lunell and Lumel says, he, he was ready. He's ready to tell it. D Lovely Day, I agree. <laughs> D Lovely Day 430 says, Daly's face is already saying it all. And she didn't notice not one thing. She didn't notice, y'all. Why? Gavin1275. Gavin1275, why is asking Anthony's best friend inappropriate. I've never had a guy that didn't ask my best friend thing about me, especially when it came to gifting. Yeah. <laughs> Shedrick Townsend 7756 says, that boy almost buckled. He did because he thought that she knew, but she effed it up for her own self because she turned left or right and showed him that she was not talking about what he thought she was talking about. Yeah, he was about to squeal. <laughs> Daly's facial expression. Like, everybody knows that Daly was about to tell it all. <sighs> I'm almost like, uh -huh. because when he said, when he stepped up, it was like, look, look, I just knew he was about to tell it, but there she is. He talked too damn much. Again, just like she's talking to, to um, Shayla. She talked too damn much and said, he won't give me none. Mm. Y'all, are we going to have to put a title on her for being stupid? I don't know. Maybe she's just 
green with envy. <laughs> oh no, let's talk about it. See you in the comments. If you have it, please make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification so you know when I upload a video. And as always, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.